Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, Ted Coningsby Channel Live here at RAF Lossy Mouth. Here we go. Hope you're all good. Hope you're well. Hope you're good. Hope you're feeling well on this uh, Monday. We're at the home of four combat fighter squadrons. That's right, Typhoon Fighter Squadrons, along with a P8 Poseidon. It's a pleasure to be here. Super chat already from Margot. So we're going to have to help Margot. She's on her way. We're going to have to help Margot live to get here with us, which will be quite fun. So this is a P8 Poseidon. Oh, yeah. And, uh, to our left, we've got some foods. It's really interesting to find and actually see the Royal Air Force Typhoons not at Coningsby. It's a, a very strange feeling for, for us and Ted. mouth interesting signal issues here which is quite funny but we got there in the end maybe a few dropouts but not a lot we can do this is the best we can do at the moment just to give you a 1080 HD Margo thank you for the super chat Thank you so much, Ted Coningsby Channel, Lossy Mouth, our debut live stream. Thank you so much, Margot. We made it. We're at Lossy together. Hey, hey.
go to find us. <laughs> she's on her way. She's just gifted five Ted Coningsby memberships as well, which is great. And uh, thank you for joining us. Ted Coningsby channel here, live at RAF Lossy Mouth. Look at this. Doing how we're feeling. Hope we're all good. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, a very, very warm welcome to RAF Lossy Mouth here in Scotland. Yeah. This foons from somewhere else, non Coningsby. I know, look at this. Thank you for gifting five Ted Collins Speed memberships. We'll be seeing you very shortly, but we'll have to guide you to find us. Margot, thank you for gifting five Ted Coningsby memberships. Guards March for Margot. Thank you so much. She's going to be joining us very shortly. We are on a very historic building, actually, or at least relics of a, oh no, the first beret to come off. That's right, the first Lossy Mouth beret lost here, live on the show, Ted. Um, it's a bit windy, Ted. So we're on a, uh, we're on a pillbox. That's right, World War II pillbox here, look, look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, right. Time to get some intros going. I know, you may not know who I am. Ted Coningsby, you know how it is. Hope we're all good. I'll have to get my, uh, I haven't got my Ted Coningsby top off, what's going on? Suck it. Ladies, gents, steady bears, how we doing? Hope we're good. Oh yeah. How we doing? How we doing, ladies? Oh, hello. You all right there, how you doing? Okay for some company or? <laughs> You're right, we're live. Just to let you know, we're live on the show. Ted Coningsby channel, how we doing? Ted Coningsby. My name's Nick Oss, this is Squadron Leader Ted Coningsby. How are we doing? Hope you're well, hope you're swell. And uh, it's an absolute pleasure to be here live at uh, RAF Lossy Mouth. And it's nice to have different squadrons here so it's all good and uh, it's very 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 interesting to have typhoons that we're so used to seeing at Coningsby and then suddenly they're not at Coningsby they're now here at uh, Lossy Mouth because there are four squadrons here of typhoon squadrons and uh, you're right there buddy um, you'll be in our shots we are live um, uh, just for let you know buddy um, You'll be all right there, that's fine if you want to come and join us. That's fine, it's all right, you know. Thanks, man, thank you, appreciate that. So we're all good. Uh, yeah, come and join us if you want, it's all good. And uh, yeah, hope we're all well and swell. So yeah, my name's Nikos, this is our very own squadron leader, Ted Coningsby, and he's loving the fact that he's watching typhoons from different squadrons at a different base. It's amazing. So we always talk about the QRAs being at Coningsby all the time. We always mention Lossy Mouth. But to be honest, you've probably seen the show, the um, Royal Air Force Top Guns, and it's all based here at RAF Lossy Mouth. And here we are. So we're gonna do it live. Uh, of course, just to uh, we'll give you all the details. We have one fighter squadron. We have two AC squadron. We have six and nine squadron here as well with their Typhoons. Oh yes. It's going to be interesting. We've just seen a P8 Poseidon and uh, that's gone now. Usually uses the call sign Stingray, but we'll give you all the details, all right? But yeah, enjoy yourselves. There's a, we've got a spanner flight, which is our uh, moderators. It is really exciting to be here. We've got our moderators on the show to look after the show. They're known as spanner flight. So please, please uh, pl keep it sweet, keep it neat. This is a family channel. We do have children on the show. So if you have to use letters, uh, if you have to hide letters in certain words, then don't use them. Keep it sweet and neat, have fun. What would, what would Ted do? Exactly. Don't say it at all. 
Correct. Nice one. So yeah, we're looking forward to some action. Uh, runways they have. They have 0, 05 and 23, similar to Marum now, and also 10 and 28. Uh, so they are currently using 23. We've had, uh, Claire and I have had a bit of a mission today. We've, uh, yeah, we've had, the locals call it the lossy mouth uh, Wi-Fi connection here. It's, uh, it's up and down, up and down, bit of a Marum situation, but we're doing our best. All right, so if there's a glitch, don't worry. If there's a total loss, they better know. <laughs> Okay, we are expecting some glitches, but it's it's enough to keep it going, okay? Better off giving you a stream than no stream, right? We'll do our best, all right? So it is a quieter base than Coningsby. Oh, Anglia Mortar. Just let me know that the we had a major flood uh, where I was. Uh, major flood. It's closed the road off, but, um, but luckily we left. So uh, in time. So yeah, how are we doing? Hope you're all good. And we are going to be joined by Margot. She will be with us shortly. She's travelled from Edinburgh to find us. So we, you'll hear us live trying to give a direction. So it's all going to be good. So yeah, thank you very much, everyone. I'll, I'll just catch up with you and give you the lowdown on RAF Lossy Mouth. <laughs> You'll see the uh, P8 Poseidons over there. Oh yeah. Well, for those that don't know, be sniffing out some nukes. It's their job to defend the skies. Here they are. You'll see the uh, squadron markings there on the third typhoon to the right, 362. That's one fighter squadron. Oh yeah. How cool is that? Absolutely awesome. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears. So, yeah, RAF uh, Lossy Mouth in Murray, North East Scotland, is one of the two quick reaction alert stations, QRA. And it's funny to mention it that way round because we're always at Coningsby uh, at TED HQ. And of course, the purpose of QRA is to protect UK airspace. And we're the most northest part of the way things for RAF stations are concerned with uh, defending the skies. So we've got Team Lossy, and it's made up of four Typhoon Combat Aircraft Squadrons and one Poseidon MRA, one squadron. And it has, I know you'll be pleased to know for all the Reggie fans, one, uh, and it's also an RAF Regiment Squadron as well. RAF Lossy Mouth personnel and aircraft also support operations worldwide and host numerous national and international exercises, which uh, you would have seen uh, on the uh, Royal Air Force Top Guns program as well. Oh yeah. Motto. Uh, I can't pronounce that. Um, Feuer in Aere. Cool. I don't know what that means, but they've got a snowy owl on there. The, uh, the RAF Lossy Mouth crash shows a snowy owl spreading its wings. The bird is native to Scotland, where the station is located. And of course, they has a highly keen eyesight alluding to the airborne defence capabilities of the units based here. So the snowy owl carries two uh, um, claymores uh, Argent um, hilted gules, a Scottish. I, Margot, you'll have to help me with that with the Scottish there, and uh, which are crossed in saltire, further signifying the Scottish location of the station. Again, apologies for my Latin and Scottish. Uh, I do my best, and of course, I'm always open to corrections. Not a problem at all. So yes, we can't try and do my best there now. <laughs> Uh, you know how you know how respectful I am, so it's all good. So far, uh, let's have a little look around. So, you got the Poseidons over there. You got some uh, bit of typhoonage over here. Look. This is our Royal Air Force top guns. Nice to see it from this view. Hope we're all good. Hope we're well. Hope we're well on this Monday. So we've got one fighter squadron, 
are based here. Oh yeah, first in all things, in omnibus princeps. Hope I pronounced that right in Latin. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> no, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Number one fighter squadron based at RAF Lossie Mouth. Number two, uh, like we said, one of the two QRA stations. It's world's oldest flying squadron in service. That's right. And uh, former squadron aircraft have included the Bristol Scout, Hurricane, Spitfire, and Harriers. Uh, they were based at Wittering as well, took part in uh, the Falklands War as well. Also got two. AC Squadron, Guardian of the Army. And of course they're based here. And uh, Squadron is one of the fi first fixed wing units of the Royal Flying Corps and aircraft flown have included Spitfire uh, Mark 11 Phantom, FGR2 and the Tornado GR1. They have been uh, conducting uh, QRA missions from Estonia as part of NATO's uh, Baltic Air Policing missions. Sainty's old squadron, number six squadron as well. Oculi Exercitus, the eyes of the army. Again, apologies for the Latin, I'm doing my best. But you all like to joke about my Latin, so there we go. And uh, again, based here, quick reaction alert station. They've completed over 50 years of continuous overseas service. And uh, yes, where uh, Sainty was based here. And you know, we mentioned 29 squadron. See. They don't have an OCU here. The OCU is at RAF Coningsby. Um, so they, no matter who, you know, it doesn't matter if you come here, you still have to go to Coningsby before you come here. No matter what squadron you fly with next, your mission, your objective is to become a frontline, that's right, frontline pilot, combat ready pilot, and it will either be here. But of course they have Typhoons in Akrotiri and of course uh, Mount Pleasant in the Falkland Islands. We've also got the Green Bats as well. Nine Squadron. Oh, this is going to be a good run for me. Per Noctem Volumus. Throughout the night we fly are the Green Bats. Famous as well for their tornadoes, if you remember. For those that, that remember the uh, tornado. They have a B as well next to their uh, squadron uh, Roman numerals as well for Bomber. Oh, yeah. And they're based here as well. Also moving from, we also have 8th Squadron that, that moved from Waddington in preparation for their wedge tails that are coming soon. Well, they'll be coming here possibly next year I think, 2024. And of course we've got the P8 Poseidons as well. Nick Ward, thank you very much as well. Um, I'll get back to you on that. So yeah, just a quick one on the other squadrons. We've got 8th Squadron, we've got, um, oh, is that 70 Squadron? 120, sorry, 120 squadron, or 120, 120, however you want to do that. And uh, they fly the uh, P8, the, the Poseidon. We got 51 squadron RAF regiment, 201 squadron as well. And they also fly the uh, Poseidon. We've got 2622 squadron, Royal Air Force Auxiliary Air Force Regiment. For, number four, Royal Air Force Police Typhoon Squadron. And of course, Royal Air Force Mountain Rescue Service here as well. We've got Tain Air Weapons range nearby, which that'll be quite nice. And of course, let's not forget the Royal Air Force Lost Your Mouth Voluntary Band. Thank you very much for your super chat. Guards March coming up for you. The typhoon's just getting prepped there. I can see there on the ASP. And I think that could be... I'm not sure if that's a pilot. I won't zoom in because we are quite close here and I don't want to get faces in this. 
Nay, says Ted. <laughs> Actually, that was me. Ted did not say that. Ted did not, just for those. Ted, Ted just looked in, unimpressed with me just there. How are we all doing? How are we all feeling? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. And uh, guards march here for Nick Ward. Oh, yeah. Hope we're all good. Hope we're feeling good. Right. We'll have a little gander at this. Let's have a look what we got. Just some in, just a little bit in the know here. Uh, canopies up, down, ground crew doing their thing, bless them. Taking off the air. We, we're going to get some typhoon movement. Look at this. That's it. All the removed tags are coming off. Really important. Big shout out to ground crew. Massive love to everyone at Lossy. Team Lossy, we love you. And it's such a pleasure to be here. And uh, everyone involved in QRA. Thank you very much for what you do. We are absolutely proud of what you do. So thank you, Team Lossy. It's such a pleasure to be here. So thank you very much. Whatever role that you play, we know what you do. It's the Ted Coningsby's channel to highlight that and promote it. We go around the whole country and promote this fact that we are proud of our Royal Air Force. We are indeed. Ted Coningsby channel. Loving the Royal Air Force. You know, we promote it. Of course, that was ground for it, wasn't a pilot. I don't want to get too much involved in the, in the faces there. Well, behind us is a golf course. So we may get a squawk of 7002. We've also got the uh, lighthouse as well. Behind us, we've got the beautiful sea, which the river Lossy goes out to, hence the name Lossy Mouth, where the town gets its name from. It's a stunning, stunning town, and I, I, I'm, I just love being here. I really do. It's, it's just, just, it's just amazing. A little bit windy up here, but we'll do our best. Anyways, we will get a few dropouts, a few frame dropouts. Don't panic, it's that's gonna happen. We know this, we tested it for half an hour, lost about 20 seconds per half an hour. So it's not disastrous, just keep the faith, keep it going, keep the stream, keep the dream. That's how we do it. Beautiful. Get a chance to have a chance to visit this place as well. Absolutely phenomenal, this lighthouse. Teddy bears, I think we're all good. I'm hoping to get you some uh, typhoon movement all the way from Lossy. That's what we're here for. Oh yeah. And of course everything else that goes, oh hello. 
We have a drop tankage going on. Right. Yeah, Margo, uh, Margo. everyone for the support absolutely massive shout out to all each and every one of you who supported our channel to get this far Thank you. Get yourself Ted and Claire deep fries Mars bar. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you so much. Oh, crikey, it's so windy. All right, um, I think Ted's very lucky to go. Yeah, Ted's very lucky to go. It's very windy up here. Yeah, even my, uh, even my signal on my phone's gone a bit crazy here.
we're okay for now. <laughs> I think we're back. I think, I think we're back. Let's have a look. Still good. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll get something there now. Teddy bears, hope we're good. Can't go about. Thanks, Bex. Thanks for the support there. food action for you from a different base other than RAF Coningsby. How cool will that be? Not totally looking forward to this. It's going to be good. Let's hope for some movement. Nick Ward, how you doing? Hope you're all good. Ian Wright, Avra Al. So how are we doing? Spanner flight, who we got on from the Spanners? We've got Margot, she'll be joining us very shortly. Yosta Leister, Mayhem Marshy, Rebecca, how's it going? Hope you're all good. and White Wizard as well. How are we all doing? Thanks everyone for the support. I will catch up with, uh, I've got Paul Hemmings, Hennings, uh, Paul Hennings there, thank you. Paul M. Hennings, how's it going? Thank you for the super sticker. It is quite windy. I'm gonna do my best for Ted's Barry. I'll have to do uh, what I can with that. Hang in there, Ted. Ted Coningsby. Paul M. Hennings, thank you. Guards March. It's very, very windy up here. Osprey's November Hotel. Rob Dunn, how you doing? Christian Burton, how you doing as well? Harbin, oh, oh. Oi, oi. Yeah, you liked that one. That was good, wasn't it? Rob Dunn, how's it all going? Ian Wright, hope you're good. Radio Nigel, Mim Z, Alex Binks, oi, oi. And very good afternoon from Scotland. That's right. We're at Lossy Mouth. Fat Man Golf, thank you as well. Hope we're all good. We've got Mothman. We've got, got everyone on here now. It's all good. 558 watching. Thank you very much. Alan, hope you're well, hope you're good. Alan Q, how's it going? Paul M, Hennings again, thank you very much. Uh, Mike Bosher, Air Images, oi oi. Steve Norris, oi oi. Good afternoon to you. Andy Williams, oi oi. Darren Pierce, how you doing? Hope you're all good. get a typhoon from you for you all the way from Lossy Malfa. It's not as busy as uh, Coningsby for example but 
It is constantly a 24-7 base. It is a QRA base, which means 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Regardless of what day it is, they are on standby to be scrambled. Massive shout out Team Lossy. Oh yeah, it's lovely to be here. We're just hanging on the top of a pillbox at the moment. for some Velcro for Ted's Berry. Thank you very much, Nick. Thank you so much. John Minter, how's it going? <laughs> Sitting there with a mug, with a coffee, with my one squadron mug. Thanks a lot, John. Darren Hobson, how you doing? Oi, oi. Big shout out to all of you. Jennifer Ordway, how you doing? Ollie's Trains Gaming. Um, due to its location, you are correct. Yes, it is the uh, the choice. It, it is a busier one of the two because of its geographics. <clears throat> In opposed to how many do get scrambled, that is true. But as opposed to training and movements, not here. I guess it's because we have, what well, we've got 12 Squadron, which is a joint Qatari Emirate Air Force, and of course we've got the 29 Squadron OCU there, um, and the Test and Evaluation Squadron. So yes, of the two, Coningsby is going to be clearly, naturally, the busier of the two, but as opposed, if you go with QRA movements, then uh, that's a little bit different. Soy oi, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. We're good. Thank you very much. We are all good. <clears throat> so, again, you can see the traditional pilot getting into the left side of the aircraft. That's traditional if you go back to medieval times, the knight climbing on his horse. I guess that's right. I guess that's what it's all about. So, we will be getting some typhoon movements. That's all we're here for to see a typhoon. Not at Coningsby for once, and it's nice to be here. It's our, our yearly annual trip to Lossy Mouth. Couldn't really do this every day, could be clear. It took us 10 hours to get here. <laughs> that includes breaks. And of course, we did take a scenic route as well. We wanted to cross the, uh, the Scottish, the Scotland-England border by uh, just above uh, north of Berwick. I mean, of course, I uh, wanted to have a photo, and of course, Ted was there as well. So we'll uh, do a little video. Gregory, everyone is household, still got COVID. We have not been out for five days, so we are enjoying this show. Keith Gregory, regards and best wishes to all the family. Hope they get well soon. So Nick Ward for the uh, recommendation of the Velcro. Guards March. Thank you very much. Keith Gregory, Guards March to you and your family. Get well soon. We are in Scotland, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. We're here for a three day adventure at Lossie. We're going to try and get as much as we can for you so that you can all enjoy a little bit of different movements here. You know how we do at Ted Coningsby Channel, like to mix it up a bit, like to uh, definitely give you the very best military aviation where signal permits. So, well, we'll do our best.
should get a uh, at least a typhoon departure. Should be all good. Looking forward to this. It's always nice to see typhoons departing from other than Coningsby. And they're all Air Force 2, so this should be good fun. How's Margot? She's fine, yeah. Not heard anything. Oh, she's on her way from the taxi. Okay. In that like, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears, come on, hit the likes. YouTube will recommend the stream with the more likes. Let's try and get a thousand likes again, like we normally do. It's going to be a tough one today. Four sorts of signal issues going on here. So apologies. We uh, went around the whole base, I think, didn't we, Claire? Yeah. Yeah, me and the Claire bear. Would you like to come on there? I will do shortly. No problem. Yeah, we drove, uh, well, it took us 10 hours. I mean, driving time was about nine. So we used about an hour of break times to get up here. It was good though, it was really good. Nice drive, absolutely wonderful. And of course, lots of scenic routes along the way. It's very good. Thanks a lot, Ian. Thank you very much. Les Donaldson, thank you very much. It was a glorious drive. Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's Claire here. How are you doing? I'm absolutely frozen, but it's okay. I've got everything on. I've got my hand warmers, got my scarf, got my coat, got my t-shirt, got my thermal top on hoodie on. <laughs> oh, lots of layers. But earlier on it was fine, it was sunny. Oh, Margot's ringing. Oh, um. So, do you want to answer it? Yes, I'll answer it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I'll let you answer. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, Margot, I'm on the line. So, I hope everybody's okay. Like I say, it was sunny earlier because we were like low down, sort of between the trees and stuff. And now we're up on this concrete building type thing. And it's very windy. It's gone really windy. My hands are frozen. And I'm absolutely happy. I'm a bit grumpy when I'm bored. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm not going to be grumpy because we're at Lossy Man and I love it here. So, uh, right, okay. Yeah, if you let him know we're on top of the pillbox, mm -hmm. he might know where to stop. I see what any of you are saying because Nicholas has got my phone. <laughs> so, do apologise for a minute. These hand warmers are great. I would recommend them okay. actually. They're so good. 
get them from Halford, so right. a pound. I think, oh yeah, I think they're about a pound, and they're brilliant. They're like little mini bean bags, little see, see. heated bean bags, they're great. Bye. <laughs> right, I've got my phone back. I can have a quick look at your messages. Oh, I've got to start up. It's because I've come on, I told you, every time. To squadron, here we go. joining us here, why not? The more the merrier. <laughs>
unbelievable. Everywhere I go, it seems to be windy. Unbelievable. Ladies, gents, teddy bears, come on, hit the likes. Start in the like. YouTube will recommend the stream. We don't get many live streams at Lossy. Oh, lovely smell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, breathe that in. Fighter Squadron. A new squadron for us to announce on the uh, Ted Connorsby channel. We're live here at RAF Lossy Mail. Come on! Hit the like button. Come on. Let's get uh, let's get some hopefully some reheats. Typhoon 71, taxi with Charlie. Here we go.
one in. to take off our first typhoon of the day. Difficult to hear you. Right, where is all right we're just trying to locate Marco, ladies and gentlemen anyway, where's Marco? Mar put up the app, put on loudspeaker, I can't hear. Okay. It's on loudspeaker. It's on loudspeaker. Right, where where's Marco? Hello? ladies gents and teddy bears she is nearly there so margo just seen the pto from the red um near the red and white fence bless her so is she over there yeah so she's walking this way she's coming towards us this way yeah oh. but she might be better off going because that's a bit of a tight just after this tree isn't it to come around so here see back. Like that. Yeah. We'll, we'll find her so she's not coming from that end going on performance takeoff she's coming from here oh, okay so we, we can take her back to the hotel after. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> PTO and it didn't glitch. Oh, that was brilliant. Rob Kennard, thank you very much. PTO at Lossy. Oh, yeah. It's because they know Ted's here, man. Ted brings the luck. He might not bring the signal, bless him. He can't do anything about that. But he certainly gave us a PTO. Rob Kennard, thank you very much. Guards March for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, we really need to get that secure somehow. Yeah, but how? We've got.
They're getting excited there. Travelled all the way from Edinburgh. Hey! Typhoon, Typhoon 7-1. Shenzhen Teddy Bears, it's so strong. I was surprised I was able to even get some of that for you. I had a funny feeling it was going to be a PTO when the uh, when the engines got narrow at the back, the, uh, the Fungins, <laughs> the exhaust just kind of went very, very narrow. I was like, here we go. Power up, throttle down, PTO. Here we go. <laughs> Teddy Bears, hope we're all good. Ted Coningsby channeled live here at RF Lossy Mouth. We made it. Oh, yeah. I think we're all good.
afternoon to everyone that's tuned in. Debbie Brooks, good afternoon to you. Mycroft Holmes, how you doing? Yes. Yeah, we're all set up, ready to go. We just need whiskey, yeah. I think. <laughs> oh dear. And coffee and everything else to keep us warm. It's um, very, uh, at least the sun is out now. It should be nice and sunny for a, a very good period now. So all is good here. So we've had one Poseidon and one Typhoon departure. And what a departure we just had, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Ted Collins, Channel channel just giving you a nice mix of military aviation. Oh, So we're on the uh, we're on a, a, a historic uh, sort of like uh, World War Two pier box, and uh, yeah, so you just need to hoist yourself up here, and uh, you know. a beautiful typhoon performance to take off. I mean, that was just worth like, uh, giving that one live anyway. Absolutely phenomenal. Boon power! wind through the microphone is absolutely it's I'd, I'd say it was a good 25 27 miles per hour up here and sometimes with a gust of feels like 30 I can tell you that much from experience just gusts of 30 perhaps and a constant 25 miles per hour it's uh, just having to hold down and weigh down everything at the minute Davey, how you doing? Hope you're good, man. Very, very good afternoon to you watching from Northampton. How are we all doing this Monday? Ted Connorsby on tour at RAF Lossy Mouth. Here we are, we've done it. It's all good. over there. The sound of the horn of the typhoon, that's the canopy horn. Yes, a typhoon has a horn, that's the uh, sound a typhoon makes when the canopy's opening. narrow like that I was like yeah I know what that means <laughs> that was worth just that 
you know that's that's a it's always good to see a PTO to come all this way since something like I think we covered like 445 miles I think it was or maybe more beautiful drive here really really good we took a few random turns and uh, eventually got here <laughs> got to get the old country roads there it's like Cairngorms through there absolutely beautiful views we just just decided just to go for it go on a road trip and of course we crossed the uh, we stopped off just north of Berwick to see the uh, Scottish English border it's really it's nice why not do it I, I never got to do it last time because uh, we kept, went for a different route we went uh, more uh, Dumfries way so we never got to see we did cross the border of course naturally but um, there is like a uh, tourist landmark shall we say where there's flags and etc and some monuments there which is quite nice Ted, of course, did a little members-only video for you guys. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, don't forget to hit the like button. A few, fair few hundred of you watching, so uh, hopefully I'll get you some more movements. Oh, yeah. Where are they? Tones, thank you for getting Ted on the Lancaster. Wow, deserves some proper Scottish salmon for that. <laughs> well, I'll get you some photos of Ted having some salmon tonight, definitely. We will do that. Of course, only the best. So I think the P8 Poseidon went off to go and get some Scottish salmon for Ted and they'll bring it back. Looking forward to that. Guards March for Synchro Tones. how this berry is going to stay on but we'll try <laughs> <laughs> keep going Ted you'll be all right yep synchro tones thank you very much and of course our squadron leader flew in the iconic Avro Lancaster phenomenal RF Lossy Mouth and it's an absolute pleasure to be here. Thank you so much everyone for welcoming us. It's been yeah it's been uh, yeah it's been interesting this morning. Lots of uh, <laughs> Claire and I went on a right jungle mission didn't we? I say jungle because um, the terrain we had to, had to go through this morning um, carrying proper almost like I think we went on a yomp. I think, <laughs> I think technically we went on a, yeah. a yomp through Hawthorns stinging nettles and rough terrain I, I felt like i was on tour or something for <laughs> i was on a tour of duty by the uh, by that but we made it we did it we, we got here in the end and we also uh it's uh, it's such a good buzz to be here it's really good and um, yeah thank you all so much for all your kind super chat super stickers all your kind words and gifted memberships the channel has taken on so well and it's and it's great we got 30k as well we're on 30.2k that's phenomenal for the bear that wanted to fly thank you all so much you guys are just the best thank you ted coningsby channel live here at another typhoon base oh yeah that's right makes a change from coningsby week to week and then we come here it's really really cool
this is for Margot's day trip to Lossie. Sharon Smart, super chat. Thank you very much. Regards much for Sharon Smart. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sharon. And I think we've got a uh, super chat coming up for Andy Williams as well for Drew Scottish Flying Saucers. Guards March for Andy Williams, thank you very much. Beautiful. <laughs> Ted just flying past the screen there, like we all love. Thank you so much, everyone, for that. That's absolutely marvellous. Thank you. So just two typhoons left on the ASP. What will happen? I'll tell you what, we're gonna like I'm looking forward to we've never actually been on, on this pillbox before and well I'll be honest with you, it's it's yeah, it's it's our favourite, I have to say. Because when you're down the bottom, you, you look back and you got you know, you got the foliage and the trees and such and uh, you know you kind of like got a few seconds of no typhoon for a minute and then suddenly there it is so yeah it's one of and because you're further away from the uh, approach um you do get I, i'm gonna guess you get a better side shot for those I'm, I'm, that's just my assumption due to the fact from experience of when you get closer to the center line then yeah um, anyway let's uh, let's talk a bit of history see what we got Ta -da -da. So built in, um, it says here, built 1938 to 1939, uh, in use uh, from 1939 to 1946 by the Royal Air Force. But in 1946 to 1972, the Fleet Air Arm um, were in operations here. And then finally, again, back in, um, after that, 1972 until now, of course, the Royal Air Force have had it. So the Fleet Air Arm have, have had a go here as well. So the airfield opened in 1939, operated by the Royal Air Force, uh, predominantly as part of a bomber command until 1946 when it's transferred to the Fleet Air Arm and became known as RNAS uh, Lossiemouth or HMS Fulmer. Lossiemouth was used as a training station by the Fleet Air Arm uh, until it was handed back to the Royal Air Force in September 1972, after which uh, it has largely operated as a fast jet base. So looking at a bit of history from 1938 uh, during its construction up until the time on the 1st of May when it was first used, um, the first unit to take up residence here were uh, number 15 Flying Training School, Royal Air Force, uh, who were initially equipped with 13 Airspeed Oxfords and five Hawker Hearts. So part of the offensive patrols during the uh, Second World War, January 1940, we saw detachments of the Handley Page Hamdens here from 44 Squadron and 50 Squadron, and they arrived to carry out the offensive patrols over the North Sea. We also have Wellington Bombers of number nine Squadron. And we also have 107 Squadron and uh, 110 Squadron as well and they were equipped with Bristol Blenheim. So Bristol Blenheims have been here as well operating. So it's had a lot of rich history uh, as, as we've all, pretty much all Royal Air Force airfields and um, those that have had continuous use to now present have seen a lot of changes naturally, but using it as a bomber command
I know, I can see they all want to meet Margot. <laughs> you got to go over there, go on the camera. We also took part in the, uh, trying to sink the German uh, turpits as well. That short Sterlings 15 squadron as well here 149 squadron it's got like I said there's been so many things in and out of here um, also had Halifaxes of number 10 squadron and number 76 squadron also um, we also had I believe 44 squadron of Avro Lancasters and number 97 squadron Halifaxes Six one seven squadron, although not based here, I believe they did actually depart here uh, following the successful operation launch from Lossy Mouth um, against the the battleship Turpitz on the twelfth November nineteen forty four. And we mentioned about HMS Fulmer nineteen forty six to nineteen seventy two. Uh, so RF Lossy Mouth was actually part of the fleet air arm transferred from there. It's a, a Royal Navy Air Station. That's that's what the RNAS, by the way, for those who don't know. <laughs> so the Na Naval Air Fighter and Strike Training School transferred to the station here in 1953. And over the next decade, many of the aircraft types operated from Lossie Mouth in the training role included uh, Supermarine uh, Sea Fires, Fairy Fireflies, Hawker Seahawks, Hawker Sea Fury, Supermarine uh, Scimitars, uh, the Havilland Sea Venoms, and Hawker Hunters. Yeah, we could do that. Also, a Buccaneer as well, operated here. Margot is just here chilling with the Claire Bear. Let's, uh, let's feast our eyes on the operations going on. So we've got our very own ground crew here, look. <laughs> there we go, Margot to our right and the Claire Bear, as we all know as well, to our left. Giving us a wave there. Margot wearing, is that called a Tammy, did you say? Yeah, it's a Tammy. Oh, oh, with a Typhoon on there as well. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. So they're using runway 23. They have two runway strips here, by the way, for those that don't know. Um, runways 05 and 23. So they are using runway 23. And like I said, they do have a runway caravan here. They also have a second runway strip, r runway numbers 10 and 28, which goes across at the sort of distance there. So, 1972, we've seen the uh, return, we see the return of the Royal Air Force here at Lossy Mouth. And it was returned on the 28th of September 1972. So the uh, operating squadron, that which they call D-Flight, number 202 or 202 squadron, um, in the helicopter search and rescue role. Also had the Jaguar conversion team designated number 226 operational conversion unit so the Jags were here as well I know Margot's got a soft spot for Jaguars as well uh, by late 1974 number 6 squadron and number 54 squadron were also operational got, had Avro Shackletons oh what a legend So in 1917, number eight squadron and their 12 Shackletons operating as airborne early morning aircraft. They moved from Lossy Mouth to RAF Kinloss, which is not far from here, which is now used, I believe, by the army. I think it's got army barracks there. Buccaneers did make a return to Lossy Mouth in 1980s as uh, RAF Maritime Strike Aircraft. They arrived there with uh, number 12 squadron transferred from RAF Honington, not far from uh, Lake Anief. How cool is that having Buccaneers in? Oh, yeah. And then, Lady Shen's Teddy Bears, 1991. Guess what was here? The tornado. Bring it back. Bring it Bring back. back Bring it back. Bring it back to me. Give me a tornado, man. Come on. Well, the gate Bring guard here is a... Uh, 
Well, when Ted gets finally gets into control as a PM, he will. Uh, yeah, I know we can't talk about politics, but Ted being a PM, it's uh, you know, he's a, you know, <laughs> you know where that's gonna go. Hey! <laughs> Amy, how you doing, girl? Amy Coburn, very good afternoon from RAF Lossy Mouth all the way to you, girl. Hope you're good. The legendary tornado, oh yes. Yeah, we got, um, when I was up on the uh, lighthouse just to our right, I think, it's, is it Cove Sea? Yes. Cove Sea Lighthouse. We actually got the typhoons taken off uh, watching them from the lighthouse, but we also saw a photo bomb of a tornado been taxied out in preparation to be the new gate guard, which was pretty cool. It was good up there. Now you're welcome, Mycroft Holmes. Very welcome. Oh, I think the buccaneer at the petrol station's gone now. Is that right? Is it? It has. Yeah. Yeah, someone's mentioned it. it. Apparently, it has gone now. So, Is that the Scottish Deer Centre. Yeah. Ah, oh, we were going to see that last year, but I heard it had gone. <laughs> yeah. So it's all good when the wind just stops there for a minute, and then it's like. Yeah, it is calming down a little bit. I think when we pack up, it'll just calm down completely. Then normally when we pack up, it starts raining. Uh, yeah, the dreaded rain. <laughs> White Wizard, it's been 44 years since I've set eyes on this runway. Wow. So we're knowing how you're doing. Hope you're good, man. Jonathan McD? Yeah, Jonathan McD, it's gone now, the Buccaneer, sadly. Uh, Emma Pelham? I love the tornado, sad we didn't, we don't get to see them at air shows more. Um, we do with the German Air Force and Italian Air Force, and do you know what, with the love of the tornado, I might just put the buddy refueling and its displays at React. I might just make a little 4K video for all of you, because it's, uh, it's very, very much missed. Yeah, as you can, uh, from, from my very brief little history lessons there, they are, um, there's been so many squadrons here, in and out, from here. So we can, uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll, I'll throw in Ted's, Ted's key dates of RF Lossy Mouth. How's that? Should we do that? Ted, come on, mate. Ted's about to, uh, put on his, uh, best here. Key dates of lossy mouth in a nutshell and as the wind has calmed down just really quickly we can do that i reckon let's do it right here we go so time to uh, set the mood so from 1939 the station opened as a royal air force training base with 15 flying training school as the first unit then 1939 to 1945 ladies and teddy bears it was home to a number of units operating in anti-shipping roles, including 9 Bomber Squadron and 617 Squadron, who launched the first, uh, the famous raid against the Tirpitz. 1946, that's when it became HMS Former, a Royal Naval Air Station, Lossy Mouth, as part of the Fleet Air Arm. 1967 to 1970, commanded by the famous Captain Eric Winkle Brown. The most decorated pilot in the history of the Royal Navy, who still holds many world records to this day. From 1972, it reverted to Royal Air Force control, becoming Royal Air Force Lossy Mouth once again. Search and rescue helicopters from 202 Squadron, along with Jaguars from 226 Squadron, began uh, begin operating from the station. They soon joined by the Shackleton. 
from 8 Squadron. From 1980, 12 Squadron moved north from Royal Air Force Honington, where they operate the Buccaneer from RAF Lossiemouth. They are joined in by, uh, in 1983, by 208 Squadron. 1993, 12 Squadron begins operating the Tornado GR1B from RAF Lossiemouth. From 2001, 51 Squadron RAF Regiment is re-established, joining 2622 Highland Royal Air Force Auxiliary Air Force Squadron under 5 Force Protection Wing Headquarters. Sounds good. From 2014, QRA North permanently moved to RAF Lossiemouth with 6 Squadron moving in June 2014. And let's not forget that Leeming had also the, I think it was called QRF, I think, the quick reaction force from leaving with the Tornado F Breeze. Might have to do a little bit more research on that, but yeah, from 2014 it was here, QRA 1 North. And that was uh, with 6 Squadron moving in June 2014, 1 Fighter Squadron moving in September of 2014, and 2 AC Squadron moving in January 2015. From 2015, RF Lossiemouth Mountain Rescue Team moves to Kinloss to Lossiemouth. 2019, 9 Bomber Squadron was formally re-rolled from Tornado at RF Marham to Typhoon at RF Lossiemouth. And uh, from 2020, uh, the runway resurfacing program began. And as a result, the first Poseidon MRA-1 touched down on UK soil at Kinloss Barracks in February. So, Due to the resurfacing, it had to go to Kidnos first. And of course, uh, tip from 2021, the runway resurfacing uh, was completed and more of the Poseidon fleet started to arrive with 201 Squadron, which stood up, marking another milestone in the program. And uh, 2nd of October, 2023, the Ted Coningsby channel made their first stream here. Oi, oi. And uh, Ted's just looking out for, I just, someone said the S word, salmon, and Ted's just trying to look for it now. So uh, he'll be having some salmon later. You right down there? <laughs> Good times. Hamish is here. Yeah. Is he playing the bagpipe? Yeah. That is brilliant. Hang on.
lovely, well done Hamish. Round of applause for Hamish there. So he was uh, playing the bagpipes yesterday for uh, Ted's arrival. And that's called the Cameron Men by the Scottish Showtime Band. So a big round of applause for them, which is uh, part of the Scottish traditional favourites. It is an absolute honour to be here. Absolute pleasure, we love it. Royal Air Force, Typhoons, Jet Fuel Smell, Scotland. What more do you want? Salmon, oh yeah, and salmon. We've got to get some salmon. <laughs> we are loving it. John Minter, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that is correct, the wedge tails, that's right. So they had the AWACS, the E3 at Waddington. The squadrons are already here that were once flying them. They are ready to, to for the arrival. So that will be number eight squadron. They're already here, by the way. They just haven't got their aircraft yet. <laughs> and uh, relocated here um, from RAF Waddington after their retirement of their aircraft, the E3D Sentry. That's the Airborne Early Warning System, uh, AWACS, uh, Mark 1 in 2021. So eight, eight squadron will be taking delivery of the E7 Wedgetail for those that are interested in 2024. Oh, thank you, Jonathan McDee, for the TCS Highland Fling. Love it. We'll try and get Ted. Uh, try and get Ted to do his guards march in this uh, very strong wind. Thanks to everyone for the support. Hit the like. This is the Ted Coningsby channel. We just do things a lot differently here. I mean, look at the presenter. <laughs> I mean, I should laugh. He's just been in a Lancaster. He flew on uh, Saturday in the Lancaster. And behind him, he had Brighty in the in the Typhoon. Amazing. I mean, what a flying log Ted has this year. He's had, I mean, what a flying log he's got already. But this year, Ted is just, uh, so I've got to send, so Ted's on a, another tour now. We've got to take him to the uh, 48 Fido Wing. So Ted's getting a flight through the Mac loop in an F-35A. And then speaking of Waddington, uh, by the way, Jonathan McDee, thank you. By the way, that's your card's march. And then we've got to take him to Waddington, actually, to uh, to fly with them. I think it's uh, 14th Squadron with the Beechcraft Shadow. So, uh, this should be good.
have a little bite.
Kylo Bear. Very good afternoon to you. How are we all doing? How are we all feeling? So yeah, we've been treated to a performance takeoff. Our very first Typhoon movement was a performance takeoff by uh, Typhoon, uh, course sign Typhoon 71. And that's uh, Typhoon, course sign of uh, number one fighter squadron, I believe. I hope you all enjoyed that one. It was, I'll tell you what, from a, from a filming point of view, and even trying to get a photo of that, um, it, with that wind, it's, uh, it was a bit challenging, but we got it. We definitely got it. Mark Head, how you doing? Hope you're good. Sean Leonard, afternoon to you. Oh, thank you very much. Mike Todd, how you doing? Adam, hope you're good. Heating on here in Murray. Ah, now that I've got... Right. Yeah. Homes. So what they munching on? We got. I think we got some cheese, chicken. They're eating. They're eating all sorts over there. I've just had a wrap. So yeah, we've had the one P8 Poseidon departure this morning. Uh, sorry, this, yeah, I think it was morning. A bit of in the morning. And we've had one Typhoon PTO. Definitely worth the wait. Definitely worth the drive. Always nice to see a PTO from uh, a different airfield and a different base. Adam Beryl, how you doing? Good afternoon to you. So we're knowing good afternoon. Meth, how you doing? Reggie having his chucking. Uh, Joe, uh, Joao, how you doing from Portugal? How's it going? Oi oi to you, Joao Guerra. Hope you're all good. Davey, how's it going? So we are planning to return here tomorrow. Same place and Wednesday. I think this is our spot now for the pilot. For our adventures. I think we may have some movements from Six Squadron. Hopefully. I've just heard some pilots checking in. Fozzie, how you doing? God, I haven't seen that name in ages. Fozzie's here. Fozzie, where you been? We haven't seen Fozzie on here for a long time. Hope you're good, man. Unless I've missed you, of course. Um, which, uh, yeah, welcome. How you doing? Hope you're good. Paul Davis, how you doing? Oi, oi.
Right, ladies, sheds, city bears. I uh, believe we do have some six squadron typhoons. Liz Beachley, thank you very much. Trespire, good afternoon to you. So I'm hoping for some more typhoon movements for you, Lady Shenton Teddy Bears. Marco's here with us. Chris Blocks and Moyoy, welcome back. Strike the like and subscribe. Let's get to 1k car. Thank you very much for Ted is the best. Thank you for the super chat, Marco. That's uh, Marco Craigsman. Let's get you a guards march, Marco. <laughs> it is super windy up here, I can tell you that much. Woo. So a belated guards march to Marco Craigsman. Thank you very much for that, thank you. Thank you very much, Marco. Uh, Lossy, 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 oi, oi, oi. Thanks a lot, Rebecca, for the super chats. <laughs> Thank you, guys, March coming up for you. Guards March for Rebecca. Thank you very much, Bex. Watching from, uh-oh. Berry down, berry down. Ted, just carry on, buddy. That's right, Ted Connorsby Channel Live here at RF Lossy Map. Hope you're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Ted Connorsby Channel doing our best to uh, bring you lossy action. Thank you very much for joining the Tab Connex Week Squadron. Oh yeah. That's Roof Fleet, thank you very much. Our latest and greatest member of the Tab Connex Week Squadron, thank you.
Thank you so much, Marcus. Hope you're all good. Interesting, lots of people reporting that flags ain't coming on here at the moment. Oh, what's going on here then? Oh yeah, mine are getting blanked out too. How strange is that? So it's a bit of a YouTube glitch with the flags, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears don't panic. And unfortunately, that's the way it is at the moment on our glitch streaming at the moment. And uh, we'll just keep going, just keep rolling with it. Hope we're all good. Well, man, hobby time has it going. Mark Head, hope you're good. Yep. Taxi, yep, so we've got some typhoons taxiing out now. It's a pleasure to have you in. We have Typhoon's taxiing for runway 23. Tell you what, this gives me a good opportunity to show you the, uh, the Pappy lights. There you go, that's what we've always said about the Pappy lights when they're on. And there's no caravan, you don't have a scanner or anything like that. You want to know what runway's in use? There's the example of the Pappy lights in use, along with the caravan, runway caravan. Look at this. Typhoon taxiing. As soon as I've got visual, I'll get uh, get you a shot on the typhoon.
Chiefs. Looks like Chiefs got the markings there.
uh, yeah, love this. Uh, it's nice to see different airbase. You're welcome. That's why we do it on the Tech Connect Three channel. Love to mix it up. Nice. Ah, oh, the Embraer. Yeah. Thank you. Look at this. We usually see this at Coningsby. Now we've got it here at Lossy. Brilliant. Felix. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Big shout out to BAE Systems. Look at this. So we're always seeing this at Coningsby. Now, here we are at RAF Lossy Mouth. very much for joining the Ted Collins Big Squadron. J145 and it's carrying the personnel and it does as we seen go to Coningsby no, but what we haven't seen it is arrive and depart from uh, Morton Aerodrome which uh, is the uh, aerodrome used by the BAE systems to carry their uh, technicians from here to Coningsby and back to uh, Morton Aerodrome to drive, uh, sorry, what a not bad way to travel to work and back.
you fed some teddy bears. David Wolfman Wells, thank you for gifting five Ted Coningsby memberships. Guards March coming up for you, thank you very much. That's great, thanks a lot. David Wolfman Wells, thank you, Guards March. So kind of you, thank you very much. How are you all doing, ladies? Shanty Teddy Bears, hope we're all good. Ladies, shunts and teddy bears, come on.
um, just having a different look oh, over there. Green Bush, thank you for letting us know that you're at Ted Merch. Yeah, sorry for the delays in the t-shirts. We were overwhelmed with a huge flooding, which not um, which are absolutely over the moon about. Uh, it, there was just so many in one day. We were just like, oh wow. <laughs> um, so don't forget if you want to treat yourself, if you want a bit of Ted Coningsby retail therapy, then uh, do visit the Ted Coningsby shop. And of course, do check out the website while you're there, tedconingsby.co.uk. And uh, it was, um, it was uh, honestly, in one day, we had so many orders in one day. I think the uh, the, whole, the website was just uh, running hot there. And uh, phone lines running red. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. Thank you very much for all of you who have ordered too. Apologies for the delay in the t-shirt the side of things, but we got there in the end. Thank you. Hope you're all good, ladies, shirts and teddy bears. Davey, thank you for all the info that you're putting in there. Thank you for all the effort there. Chris Blocks and how's it going? Hope you're all good. C-130 here. I'm not sure if it's intentions, if it's coming here or uh, we shall see.
uh, Italian Air Force C-130s coming here. That'd be nice. Thank you for that information. C-130 hitting Edinburgh coming north. Thanks a lot Gas Russell and Davey as well for letting me know and everyone else has been letting me know. I've uh, had lots of people just uh, comment in on that so thank you very much. it's really important that you hit the like button don't forget the reason why we uh, say about the like button and while we go on about it, don't forget ladies and steady bears if a stream or a video gets a lot of likes YouTube will recommend the stream so if it recommends the stream that's more exposure for us more exposure means more viewers more viewers mean more potential subscribers so that is why we need to get 1,000 likes we're uh, pretty close we're on about 800 at the moment I'd say are there any of you of those 844 watching that haven't hit the like button? Then don't forget, it's very easily done with all the action that's going on, uh, with this, especially the performance takeoff. We were probably left stunned, um, which was a good performance takeoff from uh, Typhoon 71. takeoff from uh, the Eurofighter Typhoon and two local takeoffs, just uh, standard takeoffs. It's quite beautiful positioning here, I must admit, it's really nice and I'm looking forward to the uh, arrivals as well, they should be quite nice to pan around, there shouldn't be any too much obstacles apart from just this one tree but it's not that bad to be honest and uh, I know that we've come here before and uh, been on the ground and uh, you get a lot of uh, foliage. Doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Ted Coningsby channel live here at Lossy Mouth, and we are loving it. So, don't forget to hit that like button, please, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. And make sure, of course, do subscribe. We ain't just giving up on 30k, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep smashing it. Um, you know, one day the dream is to get 100k. Imagine that the Ted Coningsby channel, the bear that wanted to fly, hitting a hundred thousand subscribers. Wouldn't that just be amazing? So Ted, where are you, mate? Ted, uh, as the winds just calm down just a little bit, this could be quite fun. There he is, Ted. So this is this is this is the this is the bear that wanted to fly, and look at us now, 30k. I mean, that's just impressive. 30,000 subscribers. You know, for this this young bear, this squadron leader that wanted to fly. I mean, amazing. I've just been following him around. I mean, he's the boss. That's how it is. So don't forget, hit the like button. He's going to give you the orders to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. Support the Ted Coningsby channel. We're a fun but serious military aviation channel and we love our Royal Air Force. We do support them very, very much and we do so many things behind the scenes, raising money for charity as well. That's a total of £14,000 money raised so far for military charities. Ten of that, 10,000 of that is for the Head Up charity. And uh, wow, that is just phenomenal. £10,000 just on one charity, it's just, it's mind blowing. Even Brighty was just like, it's phenomenal, the power of Ted. Ted's just looking all like, yeah, I know, <laughs> look at him. 
Ted, you all right there, buddy? Yeah, you enjoying it? Yeah, Ted's enjoying it. Ted's loving it. Don't forget, please hit the like button and enjoy. And uh, we've got many more fun things to come on this channel. We have we know we, we'll, we do the old surprises like here. We're here on tour for a few days. So, um, it, you know, it did take 10 hours to get here. I think driving time was about nine hours, but we took a took a few breaks along the way. And just, we went the scenic route, to be honest. Um, we went, we, right, listen, right. You know when you see movies of these, whether it's a couple, whether it's like a um, some some like early twenty or even any there's a, there's a a family going in their like sort of minibus or you know they're um, they're going on a family excursion and you know and you just like what are they doing taking this left turn with no sign what are they doing taking this turn here <laughs> we were one of those but obviously this is not a movie but we went on some some roads are just like what if we were to break down. We were thinking no one's gonna find us out. It was it was really funny. It was it was really good. We were just taking random roads. It was really good. And it's just like I did I did cross my thinking, you know, obviously it's everything safe and that, but you know, we're not in a movie, thank goodness. But it was spectacular, they had to be done. Yeah. If I was it was I was just I was that guy that makes that, that turn when you have a go and you're like, what are you doing down there? No, there's no signal down there. But anyway, we're here, we're alive, we're all good. <laughs> yeah, I mean this was along the way. I mean we're talking miles before we even got here and you know we were, we're just taking little turns. You know when it says similar ETA on Google Maps, you're just like, what's down here? go down there unsuitable for road vehicles yeah let's have a look what's down here it's just like unbelievable it was such a funny it was great because some we call them the ted roads just like ted ted's up to something you know he's, he's he wants to but honestly they are the best roads they are scenic spectacular the views the woodlands the forests we've seen along the way um driving um by berwick and and way before that as well on the coast as well um, we took some coastal scenic routes as well and oh it was spectacular lake district roads as well when we were there as well just taking these like tiny roads where you know you had to fold in your wing mirrors when we were in cumbria um just going all the way just further back and uh it, it was it was it was great and they are they were the best memories they were the best best memories and you know and you know and then you see a sign that says no petrol station for like 120 miles or whatever it was it was like um it'll be fine it'll be all right luckily the wind was blowing behind us to push us through but now we, we had plenty of diesel plenty of gas and it was all good so yeah it was um it, it was brilliant it was phenomenal i'm glad i'm glad we did our little touristy like roads that we did all the way from like lincolnshire and you know we were going along we're like oh what's this let's go down here and uh, yeah it was it was great yeah it took 10 hours but it was worth it it was worth every 10 hours um actually thinking of it i think the sat nav said eight hours so yeah actually we took um we took a two hour detour um with breaks and that so yeah really fun really good i thought that was well that was funny and then and then the next funniest thing is trying to get margo here in this spot as well trying to find her on the pillbox was hilarious um but she managed to find the best spot before we even got here so she managed huh and, climbed up. and you climbed up and got hoisted up here <laughs> <laughs> um, that was brilliant really really good and I do you know what I'm really there's when I came here for the first time at Lossy Mouth right I, I love the food I, I, I absolutely I love the I love fish and yeah I, I, no words there's no words I can't wait tonight to have some fish I can't wait Ted loves fish anyway because he's a bear he loves salmon so and he's, he's I think uh, I think you've hit the jackpot here Scotland and salmon they go well so well done Ted you pick I think that's why Ted's here really bit of food bit of salmon he's done well legend <laughs> I'm glad the wind held off for that because I was trying to keep balance so oh dear that, that sign was uh pretty fun when it when there was like last gas station for like 80 20 miles I was like for half a tank I think we'll be all right <laughs> leave it in like the 59 miles an hour just like let the wind go down <laughs> that was good really good Where's this C-130? Is it coming in? 
Oh yeah, it is coming here. It's actually coming here. Is yes, an Italian Air Force C-130 coming here. Coming to see Ted. I'll tell you what, we saw this really pretty cat here. It's like a black and grey stripy with black socks. That was nice. Have you, have you seen that cat here before? No? Okay. Chris, thanks, man. Yep, it's definitely coming here, so. <clears throat> Radio Nigel, Dr. Soda, how's it going? Matt Foster, how's it going? <laughs> Belinda Morley, you need to call into Northumbria on the way back for some smoked kippers. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Looking forward to this one. Nice visiting aircraft. Always good to see. Cool. I tried the upright for Smokey. Sounds good. Where is it? It's 
Oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> so this is an Italian C-130. over the sea, look, beautiful.
Yes, welcome to Lossy Mouth. Touch and go as well from this position, that'd be quite nice. <laughs> Heather, how you doing? Very good afternoon, or good day to you, or good evening. In Australia, watching from there, how you doing? Hope you're good. tuned in this is the c-130 of the italian air force just dropping by some uh, picking up some of the supplies and equipment from the detachment of italian air force typhoons i believe
balloon glider. Four miles. There we go. This is going to be quite nice from up here. Looks like we got two. Here we go.
Yes. Right with the town, lovely. Venom. Do you know what? I'm beginning to wonder if that very first Typhoon, because Typhoon 71 is a call sign of Coningsby, so I'm wondering if that did a performance takeoff just for us to get back to Coningsby. as well.
Little approach, here we go. What a backdrop this is. Look at this. With the golf course and the sea. <laughs> here we go. Low approach. Man in one one. Teddy Bears, Ted Connie's been doing also sports as well. <laughs> Here we go. Hello, <laughs> approach. Get the scenery there all.
Ted Connick's been channeled live here. It's our debut live stream at uh, Lossing Mount. We have been before, we came here last year, almost a year today. Almost, I think it was just, I think it was a week ago that we would, I think we came a week after. today in the morning <laughs> 40 likes till 1k, come on. So I've just totally confused uh, Lossy Mouth House 
Uh, Alison, it's fine. It is tomorrow we are staying. I just thought I'd mention your, your B&B life. Why not? Um, no, Claire and I braved it. We braved 10 hours. We went for it. <laughs> so we were, the original plan, we were supposed to stay in Perth. Now, was it today? Yes. We were supposed to stay in Perth. And then we were going to wake up in the morning and then just get straight to Lossie. Uh, in on oh is that pilots? Oh hello. Is that <laughs> it does look like pilots. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we were supposed to go to Perth yesterday. No. Yes. No. Oh, I'm confused. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We're supposed to be in Perth today. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, conf I'm totally confused. Confused this morning when we were driving here. I am confused, I don't get it. So it was supposed to be Perth, and then wake up tomorrow, that's it, and drive to Lossie. That's right, isn't it? And then stream tomorrow. But no, <laughs> Sunday we decided to do the 10 hour mission. And we did. We KO'd at a travel lodge, we totally KO'd it. And, uh, <laughs> and then from there, we just thought, well, let's just have a little look. Are you off now, Colin? Yeah. You okay? You get the phone, you should. Thank you, it'd be good to meet you, Colin. Thank Take you. care. Let's all just say goodbye to Colin live. Thank you very much. Bye, Colin. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's awesome. And we got. They're uh, missing me on there. Huh? They're missing me on there. Do you need to go on? I don't know, they're missing me. No, oh, Margot, 50 pound for Ted and all the TCS. Thank you to the Royal Air Force. Lossy! Lossy Ralph, come on. We love what they do. And due to their strategic location, they're, they are most busiest on their QRA due to their geographics and where they are positioned. They take care. Oh, hello. Sounds like we've got the Herc starting up. Eee! <laughs> 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 Where's the Herc? Well, I've lost the Herc. Hang on, where is it? Oh, there. Yeah. We've got one Herc. So, ladies, shins and teddy bears, thank you very much, everyone, for that that's uh, tuned in. Margot are going to get a guard, guards march. I'm so glad the wind has calmed down now. I mean, yeah, just for now anyway, until it, you know. Margot, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the super chat. Let's, uh, Ted, have you got your Royal Air Force one as well? <laughs> yeah, so we've got whales, we've got a couple more levels on it. Ted size one, of course. I believe that first Typhoon PTO was from Collingsby and went back in style. Start smashing that like, start subscribing to the Ted Collingsby channel. <laughs> These are your orders from our squad Anita. He's ordering you to hit the like button. Come on and do subscribe. Subscribe to the Ted Collingsby channel, the fun but serious military aviation who are so proud of our Royal Air Force. Team Lossie, thank you very much for what you do for protecting our UK airspace. Thank you. Come and see us. Come and see it, come and say hello. Ted's ex Ted like huh? Like we're, we're not far. That's it, feeling the buzz, and then we're gonna have to sit, we're gonna have to sing. Come on. Come on. So we hit 1,000 likes as well. Come on. There's the pilot.
it, get it in. Come on, Lossy. We love you, Lossy. We do. We love you, Lossy. We do. We love you, Lossy. We do. Oh, Lossy, we love you. Come on. Captain A, how you doing? Paul Burrows, Long Cat, uh, uh, Belinda Morley, Doncaster, Last Davy, Iron Forbes, Radio Nigel, Steve Broughton, how you doing? Jonathan McDee, how's it all going? Trespire, how are you doing? Yannis Gottes, oi oi! Alex Binks, can't not miss you, Cla Claire, if you wanted. Um, should get some uh, Typhoon actionage, and we've got Herc actionage. It's all go here, it's all go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alex, yeah, Ted drove a little bit. Ted, now, Ted was the navigator. about planes. <laughs> this is hilarious. Please don't ask me any more questions because I'm going to get it wrong. <laughs> if you ask me a question, I'll just completely get it wrong. <laughs> I'm staying on. You're right there now. How we doing there now? Reggie, who asked you to come and interrupt the stream? What do you mean? Do you mind? Well, I do mind actually there now. I like to keep my feet on the ground, make sure everyone's behaving themselves down around there now. Is, what? A, is everyone behaving themselves? Well, I don't know. You tell me there now. <laughs> There's no uh, point laughing at me there now. I need to do me checks. Do me mush. checks. Where's Red Ted anyway? I don't what know. You, you tell him? me. I need to find him there now. Where is Red Ted and what have you done with him? I haven't done anything there now. It's this looks like a posh phone in it there now. <laughs> look at all these, look at all these pilots standing there flying their pretty little planes there now. <laughs> flying around their pretty little planes. 
What about us round there now? Yeah, Richard, we gotta look after kind of, the ground. You kind of sounded American there. I don't know there now. What it's, do you mean? It's kind of gone into the American. Good. I I'm like glad. The, I like the I'm American. I'm glad they're now R because I like to confuse <laughs> the enemy there now. <laughs> What's this phone there now? What are you doing? You take pose of me. Take pose. I'm posing there now. Go away. You get me mush out. A message of us round here. I think you need to smarten yourself up. You're coming unbuttoned here. Well, that's how the ladies like it there now. <laughs> Oh, the ladies touch, you know what I mean? They're not. That's how they do it round here. This is it. very smart. What do you mean? You need to be smart and sharp. I'm outside the base here now. You don't tell me what to do there now. <laughs> Where are you from, Reggie? I, Everybody's confused about I'm you. I'm from the woods, so I come out the woods there now. No one finds out where I'm from. I need to confuse the enemy there now. What do you mean? Me mush. Me mush tells it all. We're RAF regiment. We've got a regiment round here now. Proud of my boys looking after and the girls looking after the ground there now. Without the pretty little planes and the ground safe, they won't be able to land round there now. Would you put that phone away there now? Do, do, you, do you on my phone? Hello? No, there's the live chat. Hello there. there now. Hello everyone on the chat there now. Hello, I'm gonna hit it with me mush. You are you you right there now. Right there, clear bear now. I'm off to do me chips outside the perimeter fence there now. And can UBA you please is... go and find Red Ted, please? Because a lot of people have been asking about him. They'd like to see him. All right there now. Please. All right there now. Thank you. You behave yourself there now. And you behave yourself. So not be shut and done there now. No, go and get it done up. <laughs> oh. Wednesday and then we head to Edinburgh on Thursday morning so we won't be live streaming on Thursday we'll be doing shops in Edinburgh no streaming no planes how exciting is that <laughs> I'm so excited
wind just picked up badly there. Oh my days, sorry, hang on. Oh. It's bad, wasn't it? Like a gusty just. Afternoon to you, Ed Custard, Paul Burrows, Addison Page, Steve Broughton, Paul M. Hennings. How are we all doing? We've got a Tim Roof 19, Captain A, Davey, Trash Bar, Radio Nigel, Robin Maiden, Craig Bruce, oi oi! Secret Tones, Ryanair 001, Meth, Rebecca, Hager. Marcus Welding. How's it going? Chris Blocks and Davey Heather. Heather watching from Australia. Ellie J. Broach. Chris Blocks and fellow Reggie Ian Whitting. How's it going? Mycroft Holmes watching from Australia as well as Heather. How's it all going? Some footage so far, absolutely loving it. Oh yeah! Ian Wright, Melinda Morley, how's it all going everyone? Hope you're all good. And a big shout out to everyone who's a resident of Lossy Mouth. How are you all doing? So behind us, uh, well, actually, sorry, correction, uh, when we were driving, we drove over the uh, River Lossy, which is where the name is given to the town.
proud is everyone right now? How proud everyone in Britain as well, just saying, because this base is responsible for keeping the UK airspace safe. Oh yeah, come on. That's how we do it. How proud am I right now to get this stream out to everyone, to just to promote our Royal Air Force, where this base is responsible for keeping the UK airspace safe, man. That is what I'm talking about. Men and women of the Royal Air Force and teddy bears, we love you. Thank you so much for what you do. And I, I don't just mean the pilots either. I'm talking about even the guys to our left here. Ground crew keeping the aircraft sweet and neat. Without them, the aircraft would not be able to be airborne. ATC managing the skies. The chef keeping everyone importantly fed in the mornings. Let no one be late for their breakfast. This could play a massive consequence and a domino effect of events. People in the caravan, the runway caravan, massive shout. P8 pilots, P8 crew, navigators, everyone, armourers, the lot, every one of you on this base. Because we are here to recommend, promote everything, every superlative I can think of right now. We are shouting out to you because we love you. And that's what the Ted Connorsby channel does. Promote engage, influence, respect. And of course, to our viewers who can't be here, because it is a long way. Even our local bases, we're there for you. We do it for you so we can bring you happiness, health and freedom. Come on. Hope you're enjoying the show. I think that Iron Bruce kicked in from earlier now with that water. <laughs> hey! Here we go, come on, taxi up this. Here we go, food time. Here we go. It's taxi in there.
marks of typhoons here because of the two bumps. Just here, look. Tranche two and tranche three by the look of it. This one hasn't got them. This one has. Two bumps just there, look. Well, one here and one on the other side. Jedi call sign, here we go. Teddy Bear, so I just want to thank everyone for today um, for getting us to another 1,000 likes as well. So, well, you know what's left to do? It's just hit the subscribe button. Come on. Look at this little landscape. Oh, what a sh Look at this. That is when it comes on the screen. This is a good shot. This should be a good shot. It's about 20 seconds away. You should, uh, should see this bit there now. Oi, oi, it's Grand Crew Drew, how are you doing? How are we all feeling around here? Quiet in it, us with miles away from home. Where have you sent us this time? Oh, I don't know, we cover a few miles in the old van. But it's all good. Anywhere to fix these gorgeous aircraft, because without us, right, well, you know how it goes. You know how the story goes. Without us, these are, the aircraft won't be able to fly. They're simple as that. They bend it, we mend it. They break it, we fix it. That's how it goes. When I was an Ipper, that's right. You've heard the story before. I always wanted to fix planes. It was one of my dreams to make sure. I mean, my friends thought it was barmy. They looked at me and thought, what on earth do you want to do with that? You want to fix it? I want to fly it. And they went to me, but I was telling them, and I was like, nah, nah. Because who would fix it when it's broken? You can't just call the AA up there, mate. That's what I said to them, right? You know what I mean? And let me tell you something. I'm Grand Crew Drew. Not a lot of people know about us. 
That's right, you see me over there at work right there. Got to make sure we remove all those, uh, remove beret before flight tags out of there, make sure it's all tip top. But I'm more of a technician, Lee, but sometimes I help out, you know what I mean? What a lovely view this is. Quite nice being out here. It's a bit Stevie Bold. I'm, I mean, I wish the current bum was out and a little bit more commendy. Don't forget, if you just joined us, don't forget to hit the best military aviation channel on the market right now. Hit that like button with your longers and lingers. Come on. You know how to do it. To be ground crew, you've got to have really good plates of meat. Look at mine. I'm on them all day. You've got to have a bit of a noodle and a good set of jazz bands because you've got to get them all greasy. You've got to get right in there. You know what I mean? And if you're all thinking that I get here with my BM, that's right, my beloved BMX, you got to be you got to be having a bubble bath if you think I cycled all the way down here to Scotland. I know some people, they do these like charity things, don't they? Cycle miles away. What was it John O'Groats and like Lion's End? Right. Imagine me doing that on my BMX. What do you reckon? That could be the next charity. Grand Crew Drew, BMX it. John O'Groats to Lion's End. Quite a nice round there, actually. Oh, bit of golf, yeah. What was it Winston Churchill once said? Good way to spoil a good walk, wouldn't it? Or something like that? I don't know. Each their own, because I love golf. I'm a golfing person, so I love that. That's my favourite sport, golf. Love it. It's all about it's all about using your noodle. That's right, and you've got to get right in the swing of things as well. Right, I'm going to have to go to the sweet shop. Is there a sweet shop round here? Marco, darling, is there a sweet shop round here? Yeah, there is. Okay, I'm off to go and get some like. Are there any special like Scottish sweets around here? Yeah. There is. Right. Oh, when you're all mine. See you in a bit. <laughs> Good old Grand Crew Drew making a debut there in Scotland, there now. Right. What else we got here? So yeah, the plan, ladies, gents, teddy bears. We'll uh, we'll welcome back the return of the Jedi, and then uh, and that'll be the uh, that'll be a day. Hi, you're right. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Just come down. God, I'll get home and Nikos will be speaking like Ground Crew Drew. <laughs> oh bless. There's a little Ted fan here. Let me just get on the stream. Hang on a second. Ah, oh, bless. It's very sweet. Sorry, Nichols is just having his photo taking the little Ted fan here in Lozzy Mouth. Bless. <laughs> Ted fans in Lozzy Mouth, that's so nice. Okay, thank you. Take care. Bye. Oh, bless. <laughs> oh, she doesn't want to go. Oh. Right. Woo. Have you stopped speaking like Ground Crew, crew I, I, now? I, yes. Are you back to yeah, normal? Yeah, I'm back to normal. I'm near Cross now. Right, okay. It's good there now. <laughs> right, how are we doing on the chat? Are we doing? Everybody's fine. Everybody. Eight, 804 people are absolutely fine. I hope, anyway. I hope everybody's fine and I hope everybody's had a good day, a good Monday. We're now in October. Ah, he's ready for Christmas, not me. Actually, I'm gonna, yeah, that's a bit of a lie because I actually bought three Christmas presents the other day. So I've made a start, and that's only on three things that I really wanted to buy because if you leave it closer to the time, it's either out of stock or you can't get it, or <laughs> sorry, you won't get it till after Christmas, blah blah blah. So I've bought a few things that I know I sort of need to get for my daughter, so no one should be disappointed. 
Christmas word. Yeah, it's a bit of a swear word, isn't it, in the minute? October. I might have to get timed out then. <laughs> Am I going to get timed out? Oh no! <laughs> I don't want to get timed out. <laughs> Yes, like and subscribe. Come on, we need 30. Well, we're, up, we're aiming for 31 pages. Wow. How we do it? Are oh, you putting your hoodie on? It's getting a little bit chilly. Yes, time for the hoodie. Time for the hoodie. Let's have a look here. It's up to you. Yeah, it's up to me to stay on here. There's some key dates here. I'm going to read a couple of key dates. So, from 1939, the station opened at, as an RAF training base with 15 flying training school as the first unit. Check me out with my information. Oh, goodness, <laughs> I know. You actually talking sense? Talking I, I'm actually it. talking sense. <laughs> So, from 1967, wait for this next one, to 1970, commanded by the famous Captain Eric Winkle Brown, the most decorated pilot in the history of the Royal Navy, who still holds many world records to this day. How about that for a bit of information? Yeah, check me out. Yeah, well, from 1980, 12 Squadron moved, to north, moved north from Maria of Honington, where they operate the Buccaneer from RAF Lossiemouth. They are, jo they are joined in 1983 by 208 Squadron. Is that correct, Ted? Yeah. Sorry if I uh, stumble my words there. Uh, let's see what other information we've got here. Bear with me. There is a bear with you, it's called Ted Coningsby. Yeah, so well, from, from 2015, RAF Lossiemouth Mountain Rescue Team moves from Kinloss to Lossiemouth. More information for you. Ted's waiting for more. Okay, more from t uh, 2021. The run runway resurfacing program is completed with more of the Oh gosh, I can't say this word. <laughs> Some of these words, I don't like them. What does this say? Have a guess. Go on, Kelly. Po Come on. Poised. Poison. <laughs> Poseidon! Yay! <laughs> She's getting there, ladies. Fleet arriving. Ted's so Ted, Ted shaking his head. Ted is <laughs> actually shaking his head. This is just like, see, I know information about other stuff, but not Go on, Clay, you can do it, come on. Hang on a minute. You got any other stuff for us? Uh, maybe. Come on. You got any other things going on there now? From 1946, became HMS <laughs> Former Royal Navy, Naval Air Station Lossiemouth as part of the fleet air arm. Are you, what's going on around here or not? Are you putting me off? Oh. I'm getting all nervous now. No, no, you're I, here. I like all this history stuff here, Ted. Do you? Oh, well. We're listening there now. <laughs> hang, on, on hang on Can't a minute. Can't beat your tongue. What's going on with you? <laughs> Just wait a minute. We're waiting. Just spare me because I don't want to repeat myself. Well, it's not like a bus stop around here, is it? I'll wait every minute. <laughs> Just be patient. I'm, I'm Rath Regimil. I'm all the patients in the world. I'm the plane spotters. All the patients. Hang on a minute now. So, how many jets are based in RAF Lossiemouth? Well, there's a question for you, Reggie. Come on. About 100. 80? I'll go with 80. Ted? They're waiting for the answer. They're waiting for, you, for your answer. I think, I think you've given a really hard un I don't think you couldn't answer that, Claire. I think it was nine. What? Nine what? Poseidons? Jets. What? You're saying there's a total of nine jets here, Claire? <laughs> um, Maybe 19 then. I, I don't think so, Claire. I think there's about. Alright, here's another one. Why is Lozzy Mouth, why is Lozzy Mouth famous? Go on then. No, I want you to answer. Because they got lots of chicken. I like chicken. <laughs> No, no chicken. Because of the because of the river. Mm, 
close. Because of the sea. Beaches. Well, that's close, isn't it? And harbour. They got, I heard right, they got dolphins round there and all. Dolphins? And they have dolphins at Lossy Mouth. Mm. And they got like a type of dolphin round there. So I'd go fishing sometimes in Penzance round there. Did you know that, Ted? <laughs> I'd go fishing. But I do like to eat chicken. I love my chicken. You want chicken round here? You want any chicken joints round here or not? I'm off for some chicken joint. Ted's, Ted's not Ted's just like, doesn't know what to do with Reggie. He's got his own mind. Ted's, Ted's having a good time today. Ted loves it here. Yeah, so everyone can see that Ted is, is the, you know, the most behaved one of all of them. The sensible one. He is the sensible one. He just, he just goes on with it. Because, you know, it takes all sorts to make a world. Bear hugs to everyone that's tuned in. Thank you very much, everyone, for your support today. It's been amazing. And thanks for putting up with me. It's been a with my amazing information. Thank you very much, Claire. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get better over time. And that's that was good. You and I didn't know you were doing um, like an info thing. Yeah, but it's some of the tricky words. I don't. I well, can't. Like Poseidon. Yeah. Chicken. No, not chicken. Just some of them. I get a little bit. I don't know, I struggle to say them, pronounce them. You get used to them in time. Then Decided. I'm learning, so... God of the sea, Greek th mythology. Thank you for being patient and putting up me and listening to me. So I'm thinking, God, this woman can't even pronounce a, this word. So uh, I can and I can't, it's just a little tricky sometimes. Maybe you should tell them a little bit about the Poseidon. Oh no, now I can say the words, you're going to give me a full essay, aren't you? I reckon you should tell people what I'll do. I'll pan it at the Poseidon, OK? Can you talk to them about it? I reckon it's... What's the matter? You put me on the, on the spot. Spot like a spot. Like. <laughs> yeah, here we go. If I just uh, pan it round to the... Uh, that's in Poseidon niche. There you go. How about that one? How about that one there? That, that roll there, the Poseidon there. It's not long words, is it? I hope not. Boeing's Poseidon MRA1, yeah, P8A, is a multi role maritime <laughs> patrol aircraft <laughs> equipped with sensors and weapon systems for anti submarine warfare, as well as surveillance and search and rescue missions. Try that one. Capability. The Poseidon's comprehensive mission systems feature APY-10 radar with modes for high-resolution mapping, an acoustic sensor system including passive and multi-static Sony Boys, electro-optical IR turret and electronic support measures (ESM). This equipment delivers comprehensive search and tracking capability while the aircraft's weapon system includes torpedoes for engaging some subsurface targets. Oh, brilliant, Claire. Well done. How was that? Yep, and uh, who do they fly with? Fly with. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. 201 Squadron and 120 Squadron. Well done, let's give it a round of applause for the Claire Bear there. For, uh, well, I'll try. That was brilliant. I do try. That was try. very good. It's, it's not my um, best. That was very good, Claire Bear. It's not my best, because I get a little bit nervous. No, that was brilliant. A little bit, you know. Well, not nervous, that's probably the wrong word, but knowing that people are listening to me, it's a bit nerve-wracking. That was good. I don't know if anybody else thought that was good, but... Meph says, I know I can't do it. What, pronounce certain words? No, I can't either. I, I'm... Thank you for saying that, because... I am not the best, I must admit. I, I know, and I get a little bit old when he says, are you coming on the stream? I'm like, yes, OK. <laughs> I'll come and say, can I just come and say hello, everybody? Everyone's and that's giving you a round of applause, by the way, Claire Bear. I mean, you can also say Poseidon in Greek, Bossy Donna. Say it again. Bossy Donna. Bossy Donna. 
almost. That sounds like Bossy Donna, like Bossy Donna. It, yeah, Poseidon. So they give it the name because it was God of the Sea. Bossy Donna. Um, in Roman, it's Neptune because the Romans stole it. Poseidon. Uh, sorry, just, just saying. Why did uh, I think it was like? <laughs> why did I go to pronounce it like poison? Poison. Uh, it's 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 close. Pos- yeah. So Poseidon. Poseidon yeah. Oh. Or Bossy Donna in Greek. So basically, God of the Sea. And uh, hence what its role is for maritime searching for subsurface maritime subs and nukes. Fish them out, get them done with torpedoes. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, well, we've got, we've got Heather. Oh, you've got to turn it around to Mark. Oh, what? Well, it's for you. Is it Claire Bear? Oh, oh right, me. look at this. Oh. Careful. Oh, I've got to be you careful. You're always dressed up like you're going. Um, well, I don't know what Skiing. I'm doing, but this is the look. Look, well, this is look. Boots, walking boots. Hang on, boots. Let's, let's, get, let's get a look. The, the Claire, the Claire um, fashion sense. Go, not, a, no, no, I a have, my fashion sense is just fine. Just catwalk, go on. So I've got the walking boots. This is like walking. And we did walk about three miles this morning until you decided to find out where we were going to be. So I have done a bit of walking. Very nice just, boots there, Just some old leggings. This, didn't really want to show them off. The socks. Big chunky coat, which has been great, and I've always been wearing this hat because it's just windy. And this is where I am on this concrete building. It's like, don't step back. It actually looks like behind you, it looks like you actually are, um, we're on top of, and you can see a forest down there. If it wasn't for the background, it looks it's like on top, top of the trees. We were, we were down there. Yeah. And I was getting stung, and big prickles were sticking out. And I had to take my good coat off and wrap it up so it didn't get all snagged. Claire, Claire Bear's been one of those typical um, interviewees at the news. Yeah, so can you tell us what happened yesterday and your experience? <laughs> what did happen yesterday? Oh, well, we had about a night, so it's a 10 hour drive. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of those witnesses. I witnessed Claire was there at the scene. Yeah, it was like, got, you know, got, you know, had these stinging nettles. And then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did, I got. Oh, I'm turning this down. Oh, there I am, look, come here. I can see myself. The <laughs> voice, Claire. So well, the well. voice doesn't go with the look. I mean, I don't normally dress like this, but it's it's fine. <laughs> Heather, thanks for that. Nice one, Heather. But I like this look when I'm up here because it's windy and I've got a blanket and I've got my gloves with my hand warmers and I have to be prepared because I don't like being cold. I'm a bit grumpy when I'm cold. <laughs> Chris, thanks for that. The onboard kitchen. I love that. Poseidon's got, got an onboard, onboard kitchen. kitchen. I've got an onboard kitchen down here. I know you I've have. I've got everything. Is it cold up there? Yes, it is very cold. It is. It's been so freezing all day. To be honest, on. it's been this absolutely. Is great. And Nikos actually bought me this coat for Christmas, and it was a big hint to say you're going to be outside a lot. It's a nice. It's a nice. It's, it's coming very handy. <laughs> Where are the sunglasses? I've got some sunglasses actually, some very nice ones. Now I do. Hello Heather, from Australia, <laughs> hello. I know, I did that as well, Avro Al. Yeah, there was these F-35s, there was millions of them. <laughs> Never a woman being grumpy. When a, a woman is cold, she can be grumpy like me. Well, not grumpy grumpy, but I'm just a bit like, mm, I don't like being cold. I might be warm. Hey, oi. <laughs> you all right, don't know. What's going on around here? Dressed for the Arctic. I am. I like being dressed for the Arctic, especially when it's cold. Yeah, there was <laughs> 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 You've got two jackets on. You all right, don't know, up there now? I'm fine. You coming to get some chicken? You, you telling me to move, I don't know. It's not your time to shine. What do you mean? Away. <laughs> Or you acting like one of those ground crew people shoving planes around. I'm not going anywhere. What are you going to do about it there now? Excuse me, someone's just said on here, Marcus Welding, I'm going to give him a shout out because he said, Claire Bear, you're ace. So I'm going to stand here and be ace. (laughs) Thank you, Marcus Welding.
<laughs> we just did. Did we just... What am I going to do in the winter? What am I going to do in the winter? Sorry, I just thought I'd seen something. Oh, okay. Just uh... Yeah, no, it's all right. Um, no, I just thought there was a uh, ground crew just uh, just going over there. So just, uh... Someone's just asked me, what am I going to do in the winter? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to have maybe one of them body warmers with the little heat pad in. Maybe. I've seen those. Colin's got one. The and you press slipper. a little, you press a little the button. Big slipper. Yes. Big yeah, I need to get one of them for winter. Like a body, body warmer underneath this. Thermals, leggings. We'll start behind you there now. Some... I think you've got someone behind you. I think it's that red Ted fellow there now. I think he's behind you there now. You've got to be careful around here. I can't see red Ted. He's definitely behind you there now. I might have to do a lunge. I'm gonna have to lunge, I'm gonna go and get him. I'm gonna have to go and get him there now. I might have to do a lunge. My oh senses. No. A lunge? I'm gonna have to get him. I'm gonna try and get him now, no. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm protecting him now, I need he's in. I've got to have him for questioning. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna have some nice food later. I don't know what I'm gonna have though. Do you know what I fancy? I fancy sausage, mash, and veg. Really? Yeah, and a bit of gravy. And maybe a little Yorkshire pudding on the side. That sounds all right. Yeah, I don't think you've been on the camera this long ever. I know. Because people might want to think, well, what does she look like? She looks like a complete mess every time I come on the camera. With Red Ted, you, you know you've got Red Ted on the back. It's Red Ted. He, he can stay there. Red Ted, Red likes Ted looks like he's having a good time up there. Red Ted likes it. But for the party, because there's a party in November, I, I don't know about anybody else, and you can wear whatever you like, but I am going to get, say, dressed up. I am going to wear a dress and you won't recognise me. I walk in, all glamorous in my dress. Not all this look, you, 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 that's it. It'd be a different Claire. I've got to get that red Ted fella there now. I've got to find out how to get him there now. <laughs> yeah, what am I going to wear in winter? I need to get something warm for winter. <laughs> something back. I'm not being rude by not talking. Here it goes. Oh. Was that a good shot? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was the Reggie lunge. They're all right. They're, they're only playing by the way for those concerned of the well-being of the teddy bears. Hibernate they are like right. a hedgehog. Yeah, just hibernate. Yeah, we struggled with food in the Lake District. I didn't particularly like it, I was a little bit... If you wanted something like pheasant, or duck, or something like that... It, it, I don't want to eat a duck. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to eat a pheasant. I would like a pie, pine chips, spaghetti bolognese. Just nice food. Jacket potato. <laughs> Jacket potato. Jacket potato is my favourite. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, base, if you are tuned in, this is uh, Claire Bear's food critic hour. <laughs> No, um, no, honestly, well, no, I do like my jacket potatoes because Nikos likes fish and he said while he's in Lozzy Mouth he wants to go to a restaurant in Lozzy, apparently it's amazing, and I, it's last time he wanted to go in and I said, it's fine, let's go in, he said, oh, I can't sit there and eat while you just sit there and have a drink, I said, so, yes, we can, I can do that, I don't mind, and I'll just have a pizza later. Pizza does I, sound tell you good, what, though. The, we're staying in a travel lodge and it's quite a nice travel lodge and they do the best pizzas ever so if you have stayed in a travel lodge and you've had the pizza what do you think because i think it's quite nice i don't normally eat a lot yeah, of pizza. premier in pizzas as well the they're good as well oh good. i don't know i've not tried the premium ones but yeah we like i said we were supposed to stay in perth and then uh today and then make it here today and then we were supposed to i'm confused I Ed still, Custard's, I still get, I can't, I can't. Ed Custard's got it right. It's all about a roast dinner. It is Ed Custard. It's all about a roast, a roast dinner. dinner. I love a roast dinner, but I haven't had one forever. 
You know when you're here and it's cold, you just want someone to go, here you go, Claire, here's a lovely roast dinner, sit down and eat it. What is going on with my shoes, bud? <laughs> what is I'm not sure. A pair of shoes with some socks with a drink, um, a can of drink with a uh, little incense stick sticking out. Because apparently those incense sticks stop the bugs, the citronella ones. What topping on your jacket potato though? Always cheese, always. Tuna, no thank you. Sweet corn, no thank you. Cheese, yes please, and a lot of butter. And I can always tell if one's been done in the oven or in the microwave, because the one in the oven's nice and crunchy, and the one in the microwave's a bit soggy. And I don't particularly like it soggy, so. I've got everybody on the food thing now. They were just totally off the planes and we're on the food. Alex Spinks, nothing better than quavers dipped in hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I'm just trying to pick hot ch hot chocolate. Oh, wouldn't they could just like go all soggy? I'm going to have to try this, Alex. I'll get back to it. I'm going to try it and I'm going to actually, I'm actually going to make hot chocolate and dip a quaver in and try it and I'll let you know. No, oh, I'm not sure about that one. I'm going to have a look at that shot. Monster Munch dipped in strawberry yoghurt, yum. <laughs> what flavour Monster Munch, roast beef or pickled onion? Pickled onion. Oh, I like the roast beef. Um, I like that spicy one. Oh. Do they do a spicy one? Is it spicy? There is a uh, flaming, flaming hot. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah, they're quite nice. I do like ready break actually. <laughs> I've just watched the replay of that shot. That was amazing. I do like ready <laughs> break. I don't like all the, um, they have these in like in Morrison's or wherever, that section where there's ready break and oats and thing. I don't like all the oat stuff. The ready break's nice. Claire it's actually, nice. Claire, Claire would choose. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, Claire, Claire at restaurants would usually choose the Go kids on. meal. They usually use kids' size portions. Is the, that is the truth, actually. I was looking on the kids' meal on that menu where we're going tonight, and they had sausage and mash. And I thought that sounds. Oh, is that perfect. where we're going tonight? Um, oh yeah, what the that with Margot perfect. tonight? Or you checked mash. out the menu already. Yeah. I'm is that where we're going? I'm quite simple yeah. with my food, but you're very. Uh, Nichols is very adventurous. Oh yeah. He's like, oh, I'll try this and try that and. We I've went, been brought up on fish. You remember last year we came here and we went in that, um, was it the salt cellar? Yeah, that's good, isn't and it? And had something that had eyes on his plate and I just had <laughs> sausage and chips and I thought, that, that's got eyes. It's looking at you, I can't eat it. It was a seafood linguine and it was delicious and it had a massive longustine on the top of it. Oh, yeah. For those that know, no. And those that don't know, stay with me and have a jacket potato. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like fish and that's it. <laughs> so we're now in to get into the Scottish spirit I've poured myself a tot of 15 year old Glen Farkless. Davey, <laughs> Ted's kitchen nightmares. <laughs> Is that, oh, we've got two typhoons to come back, haven't we? Yeah. So that's what we're just waiting for. Yeah, we're just waiting on the last two typhoons to come back. So we're just having a little and break in be between. It yeah, and then that's it. And then, uh, and then we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, all your viewers are going up, look. 628, 629. What yeah, can I say? It's been a good day. Viewers we, are going got, up. we got there. We had a really bad situation with the signal earlier today. That was dreadful. I don't know what happened there. I'm really not sure what happened, but oh well, we got there in the end. Managed so, this battered Mars bar battered Mars is bar. Um, apparently quite famous in Scotland. Is it? Yeah. Battered yes. Mars bar. So, it's basically a Mar I'm picturing a Mars bar. And I've had one before. It's going I'll, to the chip shop. They're really say, nice. Can you put this you in eat your fryer, please? If you feel like you're going to get another one, and I don't recommend eating another one, you feel sick after that. Oh. Yeah, I've had one. They are delicious, but um, has anyone ever had fried ice cream before? That is amazing. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> I love the contrast. <laughs> so, opposites attract here. <laughs> I love spaghetti bolognese, that's another favourite meal. 
loves just normal spaghetti bolognese. A bit of parmesan cheese, a bit of salt and pepper. Lovely. Why has everything got to be battered? Why don't you just go to the chip <laughs> shop and get some scraps? Why batter a why batter a Mars bar? A Mars bar tastes nice as it is. Why batter it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's that? What happened? <laughs> you know, I'll take Gordon Ramsay on any day. Come on. Is it that time you got a piece of camera? Come on. You still get the bulk, don't you? There's Chris Blossom. Hit the hit the subscribe. Hit the like. I should be saying that too. So yeah, subscribe, like. Go on the website while you're waiting, buy a t-shirt, buy a key ring, buy a pin badge. Come on, subscribe to the Ted Coningsby channel, come on. Uh, here with Claire Bear at the uh, Royal Air Force Lossy Mouth. We've got, uh, you do fancy it as a golf course here. It's getting rather sharp and cold now, so we are looking forward to uh, calling it a day as soon as the typhoons return. Nigel Cox has get, got to get timed out. Deep fry pineapple. Oh, I've heard of this. That's quite popular <laughs> in... Um... I am joking, Nigel. <laughs> Look at that lonely foon just there. <laughs> My hands are actually getting cold now. Yeah, it's getting cold now. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it hasn't been the warmest day today, has it? But we got action, we got a nice performance takeoff at the beginning. That was thunderful. two typhoons airborne and we're just waiting for them to return before we finish the show before we freeze out here. I'm actually going to put my gloves on. It is rather cold isn't it? Yeah it's got a bit... yeah. It shouldn't be too long. Leslie, how you doing? Yeah, it was an absolutely delightful uh, performance takeoff. It was very unexpected, and what a delight to see that. Um, it was just stunning to watch. I think we've had about what? Uh, I'm just trying to think how many. We've had two two sorties out, haven't we? Uh, two lots of two. So we've had five typhoons, uh, one Poseidon departure, uh, Hercules arrival and a departure, uh, the Embraer departure. And a little Ted plane just doing an overflight, wasn't it? Just went over. You right there? Cold. It is cold, isn't it? Well, at least we came prepared. Yes. I did say just wear everything. Yeah, we did, and I listened. <laughs> it is like being on top of the van here because it's. Um... It is, isn't it? It's... Mind you, it's... do you think it's as cold as Valley or when we had that windy no. no, no, Valley was just windswept. Oh, I actually had my t-shirt on at some point. Yeah. Oh, of course. Has Wingy been on today? No, he hasn't. He needs to go on. He's there. Look. Oh, look at him. They're all flat on the floor. The wind's been flying all the way. Scotland, yes. Oh, I used to live out here, yes. Marvellous around here, yes. I was basic kid loss at one point, yes. Ah, ah, ah. How are we doing? Hello to all my 
Porsche officers, yes. I used to be a wing commander, you know. Yes, flying the Spitfire. Ah, ah, ah. Quite lovely out here. Ah, they play golf. Civilized, civilized people playing golf, you know. Yes. Ah. Fancy some, I've had some tivid. I've got to try some local food around here tonight. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Well, hope you've all had a good show and enjoyed your day. Cold out here. You're gonna have to go, I think, there now. Chalks away. Hope you have a, have a good time. I'm a bit stuck. You there? Help me out. Hold an old chap, please. Yes. Oh. I think they have. <laughs> oh, ladies, gentlemen, teddy bears. We did it. We managed to get a stream out here in the end. It was uh, looking a bit emotional, but we got there. We are freezing to death very slowly, um, but we will be fine, don't you worry. Ready for tomorrow's stream. We're gonna try and attempt for another stream tomorrow and Wednesday before we, uh, I'm gonna actually go and have a break. Gonna have a nice break. What's this? Who's this, Gazza? How you doing? Gazza with the weather report. Hey, hey! Thanks, Gazza. Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, I'm, I'm mixing it up a bit. I'm, you know, it's, a lot of people wondered why we didn't go live on Saturday and that's really the fact that the channel isn't always about get the views get the streams you know it's not all about the dollar symbol you know the Ted Coningsby channel like to have a bit of interaction with all our fans as well and it's nice to interact with the, with the pilots don't forget it was members day it was their day as well and I just didn't I didn't go down that route I wanted to get Ted an all-important flight in the Lancaster because it's something special we interacted with all the pilots we interacted with Brighty uh, and the Battle of Britain Memorial flight we were talking about things to progress and try to get the Ted Coningsby channel and this is a proud moment try to get and we're talking about squadron leader Mark Long um, we were talking and we're trying to get the Ted Coningsby channel to promote more about the BBMF but not just about the pilots the crew and also an intake of what it's like to have a typhoon display pilot from 2017 fly with the BVMF and that side of experience and, and you know and all the roles so it was actually a wonderful time and don't forget it's nice for me as well just to get a little bit of time out you know it's it's nice for me to have a little bit of break and just enjoy and uh, you know this marvelous um, uh, passion that we have and and hobby because at the end of the day this is a hobby that spawned into to my dream it's been wonderful is that rain coming by the way I was not expecting rain um, today but yeah so as I was saying you know it is a passion it was a hobby that we we enjoy in it and it's nice for me just to take some time out because if you keep going flat out you burn yourself out and it's nice just to take a little time out and interact go meet you the amount of fans that we met the amount of Ted Coningsby fans that we that we met that day was phenomenal and that is what the main thing is is to meet that i've always said the channel isn't always about the stream and the camera you know it, it is about meeting you guys as well and girls as well and teddy bears as well as as you can see like we always say ladies gents and teddy bears because we've kind of unleashed 
you know, the inner, everyone needs a teddy bear. Everyone has a teddy bear, I reckon. So it's all good. So yeah, it's some really weird showers. I'll show you, really weird that. Uh-oh, we, we are not prepared for rain, by the way. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think it wasn't supposed to rain today. Actually, it wasn't supposed to rain today. We'll just whack a little cover on air quickly down now. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's going to be like a massive downpour. It's just, just this little tiny bit, wasn't it? Good lady shirts, teddy bears. Just gonna do the old, uh, just quick wipey tripe. Okay, I think we're good now. All right, are we? Yeah, that's a good point. Where's Jedi? Well, the, the aerodrome closes at six, so they gotta be back for then. Stephen Miller nine months membership. Oi oi to the best aviation channel. Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. Thank you so much.
Andrew Baker, thank you very much. Nine months membership, that's that's an amazing achievement. Garth March coming up for you very shortly, Stephen. Just trying to make sure I've got everything all sorted here for Ted because he's going to get a bit wet, bless him. only 19 away from 30.3 that's really good that's a massive achievement mm. yeah I think that might just be it Stephen Miller, thank you so much for that. Much appreciated. Nine months membership, amazing. Being a member for nine months is just is amazing. Guards March coming up for you, sir. Thank you very much, Stephen. Thank you. What's up? Oh, it'd be alright. <laughs> falling down a hole. <laughs> I'm always falling down a hole. Very much there, very much. <coughs> LEJ Approach, thanks again for all the hard work that you do behind the scenes as well for us. Really do appreciate that. <laughs> Tim Gooch, how you doing? Hello. Big shout out to Tim. Thank you so much um, for your kind gift and so lovely to meet you, Tim. Thank you so much, legend. That's Tim's on here. Tim that gave us a little tip for uh, oh. fuel in our van. Tell him, tell him we made it. We made it. Daniel Walker, how you doing? Hope you're good, man. I think Jedi is coming back now. Okay. Yeah, Jedi is coming back. Mr. Chicken. Mr. Chicken, oi oi! Mr. Chicken watching from Germany. I uh, hope you had a great time on holiday in the Netherlands, I think it was. 
Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, mm. ah. I don't know what's going on with the emojis with the flags. So since we can't have one, I'll get Ted to put one on now. I have no idea what's going on with YouTube and flags, but Ted's got one though. Never fear, Ted's here. Here he is. Mr. Chicken, thank you for gifting Ted Connorsby memberships. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed today and I hope it's been good. I will do an, an analysis and re you know, just uh, assess. Sort of bashing around there, Ted, isn't there? <laughs> sort of bashing around, pops and pans and stuff around here now. What's going on? MDPH has <laughs> what meal that Oh yeah, you've got to go and um, Margot's got to make an appearance. Is it? Why not? Yeah. You've got to make an appearance. You've got to go and stand over there, Margot, to say a bit. Margot's coming on, you've got to punch it over there, love. Over this side? Yeah. So, uh, on screen. So many of you know the famous, but are we going just over here or there? Where? You don't want to go down the hall. The lighting is better just there though. So we have the famous Margot Baxter. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> this is why you win these dancing competitions. I get it now. <laughs> and there we go. Ladies, gentle teddy bears. Hey! Would you like to say anything, Margot? 10 out of 10. Thank you very much, Margot. Love you all. Thank you. Then that's our uh, Margot Baxter there. <laughs> who I'm sure you all know very well on the chats. Oh, I'm not going to go on here. Hear what they're saying. <laughs> You're my From Margot to Typhoon. Right, how's Jedi? Jedi can't be too far now, innit? Oh, we've got some super chats coming out here. <laughs> we will miss Blackjack next season. We will indeed. Well done, Margo. Great stream, guys. Thank you very much. <coughs> Plus Margo dancing. And we got Margo dancing as well. So yeah, not long now for Jedi Flight to return. It is, uh, let me just check. I'll do a guard, we've got some guards marches to do just now. Christopher Brown, we will miss Blackjack. I know, mate, I know. God's March. Ted's Jet into retirement. Thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, we got Meth as well. Meth, well done, Marco. Great stream, guys. Thank you very much. God's March. Thanks a lot, Meth. Lots of love. And of course, keep going with supporting the Ted Coningsby channel. Can we, oh, can we get 30.3 by the end of the day? Come on. Just 20 subscribers to go. Someone left us. We were on 19 to go and they left. Someone left to Ted Coningsby. Oh, no, someone unsubscribed. Oh. 
thing is with uh, YouTube though, if, if it finds out it's a bot or not a real account, it will just take it off. YouTube are very good at that. Oh. Um, which to be honest, we do need real subscribers to be fair, because it will reflect on the views and viewers. <laughs> Daniel Walker, thank you for gifting a Ted Connorsby membership. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's right, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Blackjack is is now retired. It's officially done. It's finished. No more. Um, it's sad, and it does break our hearts. But Daniel Walker, thank you very much. Guards March for you. Thank you for gifting the Ted Coningsby membership. And it's been a great, fun day today. Our debut stream at RAF Lossy Mouth, and we've had a great time. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed it. Jedi flight can't be... There we go. <laughs> Literally just said that now. They can't be too far now, and that will be it for the day. Which I'm sure they'll probably do a couple of circuits. They're just, uh, where are they at the moment? Yeah, they're not far now. They'll be in about five mics. Uh, no, so Mycroft Holmes. So display jets, what? What my Blackjack was, what, 2021? 20, so it had its livery for a couple of years. They they, can, they have usually have about two to three years, basically. About three years, and the livery changes. So there is going to be a new livery, which I'm sure will be revealed at the beginning of the year, perhaps. And that's 2024, but we'll see. There is a typhoon in the workshop, in the paint shop at the moment. I did propose a paint scheme, for those that know, really much want it, not one bad re remark about our, our idea. I don't think it's, I don't think it's that one. I think it's something similar to what we've proposed, but we shall see. Um, but a Typhoon Display Pilot has the season just one. Um, that's, you know, that's not the case for every country, you know, uh, Red Arrows, the, they do replace two of the pilots every three years, I think it is. Or at least they have three seasons. I think that's right, isn't it? They have three seasons, I think it is. The Red Arrows pilots. That yeah, they've got a lifespan of three seasons. That's the one. Uh, Christopher Carr for our Margot's dancing. She's a superstar. What a lovely lady, and sending her all my love from Christopher Carr. Thank you very much. Guards March for Christopher Carr. Thank you very much. Very kind of you for the super chat. Uh, we've also got Yanis Godsis, well deserved Ted's dudes and dudettes. Love it. Thanks a lot, Yanni. Guards march for Yanni. Notice I'll take the S off, that's how you do it. Same with my name, take the S off when you're calling them out. Thanks a lot, Yanni. Oh yeah! And that was for Yanis Godsis. Thank you very much. Yeah, I thought so. That's right. Three seasons each. Correct. So, uh, not long now, they're just to our east. Come on.
Daniel Walker for an authentic dance carried out by the legend Margot Baxter, a kind and generous lady you are. Oh. That was from Daniel Walker. Thanks a lot, Daniel. Guards March coming up for you. That's the, I think the wind's just calmed down a little bit. It's actually got a little bit warmer, for, oh, strangely enough. Daniel, thanks for that. It's very kind of you. Thank you. Guards March. Thanks, Daniel. It's very kind of you. Thank you for the super chat. In five mics. up here now. <laughs> I can be honest with you. It feels about 12 degrees at the moment. Jedi. this look at this Good eye initial Good eye.
heard someone say FOON! So this is Jedi flight. Returning home, ending, ending the day in style. We need to land Jedi 1-1. Both clear to land, which will uh, that will see us off for the for our first ever stream at Lossy Mouth. One zero zero six ten one. One zero zero six ten one two. That ladies, gents, and teddy bears is our last typhoons of the night. The night? Yeah, I guess it feels late, doesn't it? Thank you very much everyone, ladies, gents and teddy bears who's tuned in. Thank you so much for that. Let's have that there now in the background there now. Right, well, our very first stream at RAF Lossy Mouth. We made it, we did it. We finally got there in the end, ladies, gents and teddy bears. Bit of a rough start for us here, but I knew it was going to be challenging conditions, but we got there in the end. And uh, thank you everyone who's tuned in and supported the channel. Thanks so much for that. And um, just want to say how grateful we are. We, you know, it's, you know, it is a different base. It's, um, you know, it's not as busy as Coningsby. For one, you know, they don't have an operational conversion unit where they're constantly turning over and training pilots all the time. And um, yeah, they are, you know, they are on detachments deployed elsewhere in certain countries to, you know, police the skies, etc., etc. So, thank you so much, everyone, for the super chats. You know amazing gifted ted Coningsby memberships new subscribers people that hit the like and span of flight thank you for looking after the stream as well today you had a few qra moments thank you so much for your hard work tuning in and uh, keeping everything sweet and neat so thank you so much it's been an amazing time and ted Coningsby channel we're gonna have a, a nice little celebration drink and party tonight i think after our uh, first ever stream here at RAF Lossy Mouth. Team Lossy, thank you very much uh, for all you do. Thank you, everyone. So, yeah, 
Thank you very much, everyone, and just everyone, just enjoy your evening. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, my name's Nikos, squad leader Ted Coningsby. We had uh, Margo, and we had the Claire Bear on, and all the other bears, and I hope you've all had a good time. And just before I end the stream, I just want to check in case there were any super chats that just came in at the end, so I don't miss you out as well. So, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, see you soon. Wish you well. Have a great time. I'll see you in the morning. See you tomorrow. It's the same place. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I've got a Marcus H just giving out a super sticker. Just before we finish. And a Tony M as well. All right, Marcus H. Guards march quickly on the end. Just getting in there and all. Thank you so much, Marcus, for the super chat. A nice way to end the stream with super stickers and super chats. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for that. Very kind of you. Thank you. And uh, Tony M as well, thank you so much.